for this episode of the Weird Obscure World Podcast. I have been abducted. Wait, what? Their main forms they take are reptilian entities. Welcome to the show. Yeah. For those of you who are going to join us this evening for some weird news. Um, there was a lot. Uh, there was a lot to choose from this week. Yeah, there's quite a bit. What do you think that is? Do you think it's uh, the lead into the holidays? People get crazier. I wonder if close to Christmas, if we're going to have like the weirdest news. It could be. For sure, it could be. I mean, it, it, and it might just be that time of year. More people are home thinking about uh, doing weird stuff. <laughs> no. Perhaps. I mean, just have to see what happens. All right. Did you find a good story for tonight? Uh, yeah, I've, got, I've actually pulled up a handful of stories. So I am... Oh, there's a couple of, uh, a couple of crazy ones. Um, I'm, uh, it's tough. There's a lot to pick through. But yeah. I'll keep them entertained while I, uh, while I dig this up. If we got anybody who's joined, see, cause I'm blind now, now that we're using zoom. I can't see if anybody's on, so I can't say hi to anybody. Uh, you should be able to pull it up on your phone and watch the interaction, right? If, uh, but I'm on my phone. Oh. oh. Doing the video. <laughs> yeah. So, there is that. <laughs> All right. I, need, I need lots of phones. Okay. Well... I guess you could have Cody pull it up on his, but all right, I'll uh, I'll, I'll go from there. That. Right. Okay. All right, I'm on there, and there's just uh, two people watching. I don't know who they are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. All right. Weird news. We should wait a few minutes, let someone show up so we don't just tell each other news stories. Well, this is being recorded for future viewing anyway. Yeah, that's true. It, sta it stays on Facebook, and we get a, a ton more people go back and watch it afterwards. It's kind of hard to catch people, you know. It's crazy. Some people don't actually live on Facebook. How many lives have you watched, Jared? Uh, of ours? Of anybody's. Hmm. Outside of ours. I, I don't even know if I've really watched ours. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's hard to catch the lives, but we get a lot of listeners who will scroll through our page or see that we were live and then they can watch the live later. Oh, okay. All right. So, weird news. You want to go first? You want me to go first? Um, well, I guess I could, uh, uh, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll run away with this one. How about that? Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. So, I should be, uh, Sharing my screen now. Do you see it? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so a poor lady in uh, Los Angeles, um, she's walking along the, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh-huh. And uh, her name's Heidi Van Tessel. And she was, uh, she went to a Thai ro restaurant and then was walking back along that famous walk. I've never been there. I don't know anything about it. Uh-huh. And, uh, a guy named uh, J-E-R-E, I don't know if that's a 
Jiri or Hiri or Yiri. He might be Swedish. I don't know. Blessings. Um, dragged her out of her vehicle and uh, he pulled her out into the middle of this street and then dumped a bucket of feces on her. A bucket? A bucket. And He'd been like collecting feces? She she thinks that because of the amount um, that he'd been holding on to it for a minute, like a month maybe, and poured okay. it. Okay. So he's just a homeless guy, you know. Um, she was, uh, she called the police. She was rushed, rushed to the hospital and he's been arrested and uh, charged with a uh, battery. A bucket. A whole bucket. So he's just been collecting his own feces, just awaiting, awaiting to attack someone, and she just like unlucky tourist. That's kind of what it sounds like. Um, oh, I would rather, I would rather die. Now. He, and I'm not saying that sarcastically. I would rather die than have some guy pour a bucket of his shit onto my head. Now, he's a he's a homeless guy that suffers from a mental illness. Uh, it sounds like he has a schizophrenia, and uh, he was sentenced to a, a mental hospital residential facility. I don't. Let's call it what it is. He's there. He's a danger to himself and others. Which isn't common. Uh, schizophrenia isn't common to cause a danger to others. Usually it makes them more vulnerable. But this guy apparently had a moment. Holy and, uh, cow. But he was released in, uh, in August and then just the other day poured this on her. So now he's sent back and uh, kind of worried he's going to be cut loose again. Uh, California does have a substantial uh, transient and homeless problem right now, and I don't know how they're going to wade through that. But yeah. There's just not enough funds. There's just not enough funds to take care of all of the mentally ill people that find themselves homeless. That's a mm -hmm. huge problem. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't but know. Back to I don't Back, know. If oh. I don't know for whatever their uh, their government and their climate has be, been a beacon for homeless people, and so homeless. Uh, from what I've read and seen, a lot of their homeless issue tends to come with. Uh, hang on, I've got a dog tends to come with uh, drug issues or mental issues or both. And a lot of times sure. drug issues can exacerbate mental issues. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was my story and I can't even make fun of it. A whole bucket of shit thrown on her. I mean, that's, that is, that's horrendous. That's just crazy. We need a GoFundMe made for her so that she can, get some serious counseling oh i don't know yeah the ptsd from receiving a bucket of oh, someone else's shit if, it has got to be off the charts if it got in your eyes or your ear oh christ I on a cracker imagine. yeah i couldn't imagine um yeah oh got some people watching that is too much all right say hi to mom Amy, hey mama, cousin Amy, Brian, and uh, our sister. All right. Hola. Hello. Oh. Everyone. Sorry, uh, we're battling the. Uh, oh, we're battling the uh, internets tonight, as per usual. Is it pretty slow? So my story. Um, it's it's opened. My eyes took a couple of things. One, it's also about crap. Um, 
And two, I think you're going to get a bottle of gin for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so it, my story comes from Mossel Bay, South Africa. Les and Paula Ainsley are on safari. And one of the wildlife rangers describes to them the elephant's digestive process. They get home, weeks later, um, his wife wakes him up in the middle of the night with the inspiration that uh. she wants to use this elephant dung and uh, infuse it into gin. Now, the creators have named it Extra beer gin. That'd be <laughs> extra dry. Extra so the reason is they learned during the safari that the elephants eat a variety of fruits and flowers and yet digest only a third of it. They sure do. <laughs> so so as is, a consequence is it called second of that, harvest gin or <laughs> as a consequence of that, you get this amazing variety of botanicals within the dung. Uh-huh. So, oh yeah, botanicals, <laughs> but anicles. <laughs> the first batch of elephant dung came by mail from the park where they had taken their safari. Then so, the couple, both scientists, puzzled for a while before working out the gin making process. So, first of all, they had to call up these safari guys and say, Hey, <laughs> remember me? We need some elephant dung. I need you to hook me up. So now they collect the dung themselves using no, no, their bare hands. Put box, just put it in a box. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is, oh. So they describe this gin's flavor as lovely, wooded, almost spicy, <laughs> earthy. <laughs> spicy. It's spicy gin. Oh, man. <laughs> Jared, listen. Uh, the, the gin bottles are marked with the date and coordinates of where the dung was oh, collected. Oh man. So you're able to compare almost different vintages of the gin. I wonder if you get to recognize which elephant it came from. Uh, well, listen. I think you're getting a bottle of gin. For oh. Christmas. Now well, they've just play it proudly. <laughs> they've decided to name the gin uh -huh. in Lovu, which means elephant in the Zulu language. In Lovu? Yeah. Okay. So um yeah. Oh. You can you can now buy and it's not they oh. actually use this elephant crap. Uh -huh. Excrement uh -huh. to make the gin. This uh -huh. is no joke. This this is not a drill, people. You can now drink gin made with elephant crap. I imagine the fermenting process is a little quicker. Well, most of it's been done and broken down by the elephant's digestive tract, and uh -huh. uh, you get the get to taste the spiciness of the earthly botanicals that they feed upon oh. so i i want all of the listeners to watch for a future show dumbo dung dry gin because we're going to we're going to taste test you know some time. elephant dung gin listen i'm on the I hunt i don't know why i'm you... going to find out how to buy this tonight I don't know why you keep inferring this we word. <laughs> uh, by we, I mean you. We're I, going to watch Jared uh, oh. taste the spicy gin from the elephant botanicals. Uh, we're pretty sound on the you're going to taste it. And I'm like, <laughs> <sighs> I couldn't believe it. People will make alcohol out of anything. Oh. Absolutely anything. That's so heinous. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some. I'm telling you, it's I'm I'm on the hunt. I'm going to find a way 
to procure Indlovu gin. And we will locate on the map where the poo was collected and we will put a thumbtack over it and we will proudly display the Dumbo Dung gin. Yeah. That's it's happening. Plopped, not stirred. <laughs> mm, it just sounds wrong. I, I, I'm telling you. It, it, it's a terrible story, but listen, they're selling this. So who's crazy now, huh? Um, they collected elephant crap and found a market for it. I'd say they're still crazy. <laughs> and they now they collect it with their bare hands, they say. Um, so they really get into this process. They put all of themselves into your gin. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Yeah. Oh, that just sounds heinous. In Lovu. Yeah. We're going to find some Indolovu, and I'm, I'm buying it. And you would drink it. And you no. giggle at it. Listen, you wouldn't even know. You'd be like, oh, what's in my drink? It's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I can taste the earthy botanicals. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey, may, there's lots of cattle around here. <laughs> What's the Navajo word for cow? Uh, I don't know. Quick, look oh, it up. Oh dear. We're going to make... make we could make it with nanny berries because in that picture, <laughs> they had, uh, they had like, uh, <sighs> green... Stop it. There's something in the glass in that picture. It's like... Uh, Maybe it's just an olive stick. It looks like it might be an actual olive branch. And uh, yeah, nanny talking. nanny berry gin. Nanny berries. You see them in. It has a very sagey, rustic flavor to it. Well, I wouldn't be able to explain it because you know I would make it and then you know invite you over. <laughs> Pull on this. Oh, that is, oh, that's rough. Yeah, if you go to their website, you can watch them collecting their, their botanicals. The poor, the poor African safari guides out there going, I can't believe they're doing it, but why? One guy's got the box, the boss, and the other guy's like, not even a shovel. You're not even going to give me a <laughs> I just fair hands. I just got to go for this, dude. You know we're forty five minutes away from you know the ranger shack where I can wash up. So Earthy. I don't think I'm saying this right, but the Navajo word for cow or cattle is bigashi. Bigashi. Bigashi or bigashi. So okay. I'm thinking we collect cow patties. Okay. And infuse the gin with the flavor of the West. But the cows don't eat grains. So we need something that eats grains or Well the it's the berries and stuff that yeah. uh cows don't eat that stuff. But deer the, the, I know. And sheep See, eat everything. I mean we could just toss berries in there. <laughs> and it'd be much easier. Where was this sheep from? Same place. It's just what I threw in there to it. That's right. No. Goats. This one tastes like a tin can. Wow, shocking. That's what yeah. I ate that day. Yeah. So. It's heinous. Oh. Poop gin. Oh. Good stuff. Why is Bucket there... of poop and poop gin. What is with this? Uh, our stories have a tendency to go this direction. I'll, I'll be honest. When I first read my story, I giggled because I'm, you know, kind of morbid. But then when I got to thinking about it, if it was me, I yeah, mean, no, I'd, I'd have creeped out. Oh I'd, yeah, uh, no, I'd have lost my marbles. I'd, I did. Just kill me. Yeah. 
please let there be a sniper that will take me out before I know what's being poured upon my head. Yeah, that's just uh, that's heinous. Uh, because I'm telling you, I don't know how you recover from that. There's um, not enough bleach. You'd have to shave your head. You'd have well, to. I'm already there. No, it's yeah. like, what if your eye was open or God yeah. forbid some got on. I'm going to need this removed. What if it got on a tooth? <laughs> you know? No. Your ear. <laughs> I mean, this lady, I mean, before this, she was normal. But now oh. she's obsessive compulsive people, but instead of those ones that have to lock the door all the time. Oh. Hands. Like she walks up. First of all, one, does hand sanitizer burn on like your face and in your eye? <laughs> Any, can you drink it? Can you drink it? If it got on a tooth, can you brush with it? Will it hang on to a toothbrush like toothpaste? <laughs> or do you have to add some, uh, some um, corn, what's that corn starch to thicken it up? So that it yeah. Happen. Oh. What does it taste like? Terrible. Does it taste like elephant dung gin? Can I drink rubbing alcohol? Mm. Oh. Too much. Yeah, but that's that, that's a terrible, sad thing, and I hope California uh, can think of and execute a game plan that will. Uh, salvage our city. I hope so. Mm. Not looking too positive as of yet, but you know, maybe, maybe they'll uh, figure that out. I mean, California is. After I watched that, I <clears throat> went down a YouTube rabbit hole of uh, what's going on with the homeless population in California, and the numbers alone are shocking. <laughs> yeah. California receives uh, something like uh it was over 50% of the nation's welfare. Um just huge numbers and the homeless problem is exploding there. The taxpayer base is exiting there. Yeah. So no, that that entire state um boy it's 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 impossible to live in the large cities um the rate of inflation on everything is it's the most outrageous thing i've ever seen i had an office in san francisco and yeah. san francisco's <laughs> issue is uh all those uh tech wealth is pouring in and literally, yeah. the housing market the prices are growing so fast that even if you owned a house, which California had to come in with rent controls for this, but they didn't. It's too hard to build in California. And the best thing California could have done was establish a system where the uh, the the new money coming in had to build houses and expand yeah. the, the housing availability market. But instead, they bought everything they could, and they did it in, in such a fast manner that it, it increased the value of homes there. Home prices kept climbing and climbing, and even people who had loans and owned homes eventually got, you know, taxed out or everything else. So, yeah, it Every single person, with the exception of, I think, two of the executives that worked in our building, took BART, which is their mass transit, from outlying, I mean, we're talking an hour and a half on the railway system into San Francisco every morning, because you have to live that far outside of the city to be able to afford it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, a studio, the studio apartment of one of our executives um, was like $8,000 a month. And it was, it was a, a tin shed. 
it was tiny tiny little studio apartment yeah it was it, yeah i mean crazy well crazy you know um hopefully they figure out a way to uh rectify that you know and there's other states that are just packing their homeless into uh buses and shipping and them shipping out them out yeah no and yeah. a lot of them will probably end up in california or you know where it was un- it was unfortunate because there was actually a couple of buses that ended up out our way yeah they won't stay too long they'll they won't they won't stay because the winters are too harsh yeah. The summers are so, livable, but after that, then they've got to go. And that's, yeah. I mean, they'll do that on their own. There's, there's, um, I guess two new homeless shelters going up, but they're closing down the old one. I don't know. Uh, that's all. Yeah. They're, they're opening a women's shelter and a men's shelter. Previously, there's just been the, um, the one homeless yeah, shelter one operating in Salt Lake. And, and think, they're, they're, uh, they're splitting them. There's some issue. They they closed the main shelter. The men's shelter was built, but they hadn't built the woman's shelter yet. And I think yeah, the other shelter is still open. Um, it doesn't close until like the end of the week. I think they really need to concentrate <laughs> on building a family shelter where they vet the people coming in, but that way they can have some kind of system where a whole family can stay together and. You know, vet the people yeah. so they don't have the drug use or abuse going on. But, you know, some people are in uh, hard situations. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what the answer is. Uh, the economy seems to be doing well. Uh, there's not mass unemployment right now. So hopefully they... Uh, hopefully we can figure out what to do with those who have addiction and, um, you know, uh, psychological mental health issues. Yeah. Mental health issues. Hopefully we can figure out how to deal with those. And I think, you know, but I don't know. I definitely don't have the answers for that. I barely. Boy, know. that's that story in, in California, Hollywood, boy, that, that sure brings it home. Through a bucket of, and oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, oh, man. Yes. Anyway, a bucket. You know how long it'd take to fill up a bucket? <laughs> I mean, I, I've I've been. I I'm gonna dream about that. Unless because, of course, because honestly, what if you rattled? Are a we talking of? If you rattled a uh, coffee mug in front of Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that in half a day. But if you're not anywhere near a Taco Bell, who knows how long? And if you're in front of like a a health food mart or something like that, I mean. Okay. And okay. Uh, and I must know, was it like dry? I don't know. I, I don't. Uh, she said it was wet and it had an extra. Uh, uh, what I fear is you know that baby tar the newborn tar right imagine like you get that on your hands and the baby's a toddler before you get able to wash it off I mean, it, yeah yeah mm, poor woman let's all say us let's all have a moment of silence moment of silence for that for that poor woman oh. let's all She's got the thousand. Close points. her eyes for a minute. And, she looks looks like a marine uh, coming out of case on <laughs> a thousand yards. I'd shave my head. I would straight up bick it. Uh yeah. Yeah. Just so I could get right down in there with the sanitizer, I, the bleach. I'd be talking about to someone about a skin transplant. You know, it's possible, <laughs> can be done. <laughs> do i really need and because of all of that they i'm sure they went and checked him but they couldn't get him checked till he's processed through all the other stuff and it's whatever else so she's got to go through decon 
uh, then, all of the tests. If she hasn't had the hepatitis shots, they probably started her on those. I mean, everything. They're, sure. You know, rabies, whatever else. This is all an exchange. And that is, um, that's Sorry. as violent as assault as if he came out with a big stick and hit her in the face. As violent. I'd, ra I'd rather have the stick. Oh, yeah. I, I'd rather he'd have beat me in the street than do oh, yeah. that. That's, oh, you know, uh, just imagine. And, I mean, you've got a burn barrel out back. You're burning your clothes. <laughs> and, like, you're, you're getting parts. Crying. <laughs> I'm telling you. And she... I believe that she suffers from PTSD because I think I have a small case of it just from reading the story. <laughs> he grabbed her, dragged her out of the car into the street. And then, so first he had to walk around with the sloshy bucket. What? And then <laughs> bought his target, a, a young brunette lady. Target acquired. Yank her car door open, drag her out into the middle of the street, bucket in the other hand, and upend it on her. What is all that? You know, now that ain't know. that ain't that ain't right. That's oh, that is oh, but all right. My next news story this weekend will be funny. I promise. Ah. Uh. Thanks for joining. And you know what's strange? We're, we're really like suffering from the idea of human poop. But like, I'm going to buy some gin made with elephant shit. And you're going to drink it. And I'm going to serve it to you. <laughs> uh, we're going to. Lazy Susans will play that game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play Russian roulette. Yeah. No. Which one is spicy? Oh. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Well, thanks for joining, guys. Yeah. That's a gross show. Yeah, this that one was rough. A lot of a lot of poo. A lot of poo. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, check out uh -huh. our YouTube's and our uh, bit shoots and everything else, and uh, definitely uh, jump on iTunes, rate us. We're still actually a podcast, even though we do these lives quite often. But we like to uh, build up there. That's our true passion in it yeah um, let us know what you think platform. and honestly rating and reviewing us does help it does yeah the more you rate and review us on itunes the more itunes likes us and the more they like us the uh you know, the easier it is to find us when you we show. are scrolling yeah and you know and yeah it's it's getting weird youtube came out with this new thing that if you're they're going to start closing down channels if they're not financially viable sounds like youtube's going to become just another uh i'm talking a you know a couple of years down the road but it'll just be somewhere you go to watch fox news and cnn and whatever comes out of that it'll die it'll but die it's starting to um you know it's it, they're starting to kind of hurt their brand with uh with their uh speech controls and stuff they're they're a platform that's trying to monitor like a publisher i don't know there might i've heard word that they might have uh maybe some kind of legal action coming towards them for it but we'll see what happens sure yeah. i mean you know this whole whistleblower thing has shaken everything up and we'll see where all that goes. But then again, watching, uh, yeah. watching clips of the, of the view when they had, uh, Don Jr. On was pretty shocking. It was, I, I'm, I haven't seen it. I'm a fan. I intention, I intentionally do not watch the view. Oh, well, it's, it's mindless clucking. Mine. Yeah, it's garbage. But he went on there, and it was kind of funny. Um, you should watch it. You'll you might like that one. Um, yeah, it's 
it's uh yeah uh, yeah i may i may actually have to watch that one yeah yeah he he kind of kind of puts them in their place a little bit but yeah so it was good um so we've got uh bigfoot's coming up we've got uh some more simulation theory i've had some more thoughts on that mm. pose um those are deep shows that's a simulation theory is honestly my favorite because i like the simulation theory i really really want to cover quantum computing yeah so um, join us on that day to watch jerry just glaze right <laughs> up I'm, I'm i'm digging you know, quantum watch the drill slowly drip there could be <laughs> there could be a bet about the drip <laughs> coming off my chin as i sit there because you know i'm not very bright yeah quantum computing is interesting to me so once i think i've i've done enough that i can speak intelligently about it um we're gonna cover that as well but join us this weekend for more bigfoot we're gonna update you on what's new in the world of bigfoot yeah did you see a bigfoot statue got stolen was it stolen by a bigfoot perhaps maybe the Perhaps. bigfoot thought this bust would look nice on my banister yeah a bust of myself anyway that's what i want to do i i know <laughs> <laughs> the, the to... two cupids is my favorite though or yeah. the two uh, cherubs <laughs> the, you me and alex <laughs> me yeah. on, uh, him on the ground yeah. <laughs> it's too much <laughs> all right well thanks for joining guys yeah thanks for joining us and we'll see you on saturday saturday have a great week yep